just in Gatwick Airport, off on my holidays, to Nevis, to Caribbean. And for me, it wouldn't really be a holiday without having a bit of walling to do. So I've organised to do a gap um, with for my girlfriend's auntie, who's living out there. So I, uh, I don't know what the stone's going to be. I know it's uh, a volcanic island, so it'll be volcanic stone. So, you know, it'll be be like weird weird shapes and uh, I don't have any tools so it's just going to be traditional gapping and I'm looking forward to it so aye, I'll let you know how it goes cheers as it happened the gap I thought I was going to do had already been done so we drove around the island to see if there were any other gaps that needed doing Proper holiday stuff, this in it. Busman's holiday. It just wouldn't be a holiday for me if I didn't find some walls to look at. So, hey, up, what's this little machine? Absolute bulldozer. And a 3CX back there, something like that. Check him out in. Wow. I'll just do it. That guy's a bit of gapping, a bit of gapping in Caribbean. I hope nobody minds I'm doing it. But he's doing it. <laughs> Volcanic y stuff. A bit like gritstone shapes, but um, really looks soft.
as you can see, I'm just walling away here, and the next thing I know, a truck pulls up next to me. In true small island style, we already knew this guy, this is Kedji, the barman from the place where we were staying, and it turns out he's also a builder and knows about stone walls. Um, he was on his way to work, so we didn't get a chance to film anything here, but uh, we did have a chat later on in the bar, and I'll um, I'll let you know what we chatted about later on in the video. Well, he's got a big plane. <laughs> Maneuver. Trying to blend in with the uh, local style, not too coarse. Just look at the sweat dripping off me here. It's uh, ridiculously hot and humid. Peace. You done? I think I'm done. Let's have a look. Right guys, um, so just put this little gap up. Uh, nothing special at all, but hopefully the idea is that you can't really tell I've done it. Um, or at least that's what I can say. Um, so yeah, just crossed the joints and wanged it back up in the local uh, vernacular. Obviously, could have done with taking a bit more out really, but I'm on holiday, so just, yeah, just do a bit so I can say I've done a bit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. Really, really nice stone. Bloody, bloody real job. Now let's get to the pool. Well deserved local ginger beer as a celebration of that 15 minute gap. <sighs> bloody real job. That was a very fun gap to build. Feel free to comment on the quality of the wall in the comments below. Don't pull any punctures. Um, the next part of the video is a chat between myself and my girlfriend's auntie Vanessa about her wall and walls in the area. Hi guys, so I'm here with uh, my girlfriend's auntie Vanessa here. 
Um, and we're at their family home and they've got a wall in the back garden. So Vanessa's just going to tell us about that, who built it, and then uh, maybe a bit of the bit yes. of the history of walls in this yes, area. Yes, yes. Hi, everyone. I didn't know I was a wall expert, but Bert <laughs> is making me a wall expert, which I'm not. But um, this, this wall here um, was actually built by my husband and it stretches from up here and divides us from this unusual looking house right here. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, so when we finished, um, we can go on the other side and I can give you some information on that. Um, first of all, these are all over the island. Everywhere you go, people have dry rock walls, you know, dry stone walls, they call them. And my brother, my, my um, brother-in-law is actually a stonemason as well. Yeah. And um, I'm sure he must have ha had a hand in this somewhere, even if to just tell my husband how to do it. But my husband is also very good, as you yeah, can see, definitely. he does it very well. Don't managed, you think, Bert? Yeah, definitely. He's managed to move some massive yeah, stones as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, he's not so, supposed to. He's banned so. from me from lifting things that are heavy. But anyway, he's managed to do this quite a while ago, but as things happen, you know, sometimes they collapse. And after looking around Nevis a lot, I come to realize that there are, there are a lot of stones in Nevis. We're, we're <laughs> renowned for our big rocks. And in everybody's garden, you always have this, which I can show you yeah, after. Yeah, big piles. Big weather. piles of rock. So um, when anybody's building a house or anything, they use their own stone. Yeah, you know, they don't really have to buy stones as much. They've got it right here. It's almost a free material. It's really. a free material is what yeah. it is, Bert. And um, so my husband um, built this wall and he's repaired it as well as the years have yeah. gone by. And just walking up here, we discovered there's also a sweet <laughs> potato vine growing out of it. And uh, there are... Lots of different um, foliage, plants, and um, trees. We've got a um, jamoon tree here, which is just growing right over the rock here. Yeah. And we've got a coconut tree here. We've got a sea grape over there. But the jamoon tree is like, it's like cherries. It's like Indian cherries. Um, it, 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 formerly came from India, but it has other names, but I was corrected very promptly by um, an Indian person who said that it's called Jamun. So there's the Jamun hanging over this bit of rocks here. Yeah, and it's cool then... to see the garden plants growing in and, in and among the wall as well. Oh, you like so that? I do, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just makes it look like it's always been there. Ah. Ah, my hu my <laughs> husband would differ. He'd yeah. say, "Oh, I've got to get this all cleaned all up," cleaned up. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, we've got the yellow bells, the coralitas growing here, and we have the um, what do you call it? merengue tree? Yeah. The mer look at look at this tree. It's growing right in the middle. Right of in the middle of it. <laughs> right in the middle. <laughs> right in the middle of all these beautiful rocks. You can see here where my husband has yeah, tried to reinforce it with cement because I think this was the part that kept falling. Yeah, you know? when, when you have got big trees in it, um, yes. they do tend to go there if there's a bit yes. of a wind. Yes. So all this stone's volcanic. Um, yes, because we, we, we do have a, oh, this is the Coralita here. It's very pretty. We call it bee bush as well because of the, the bees love this, they love this. And when we were little, we would um, play weddings with this and we would stick it all over ourselves, makes ourselves look pretty, <laughs> we girls anyway. And um, the stones all came from that mountain there, that's called Nevis Peak, it's 32, 32 feet high. And at some point, I'm not sure which century, but it's probably, I, I don't want to quote something as I'm being filmed and I'm wrong, yeah. <laughs> but it's quite a long time ago, maybe 16th, 17th century, maybe even earlier, I think. I, I'm not sure on that yeah. one. But there was a bigger, this is a dormant volcano. Yeah. But um, I hope. <laughs> and, <laughs> <At the minute. laughs> um, in anybody's lifetime that's been here for hundreds of years, they don't yeah. know anything about it exploding. But apparently there was an explosion. And all these rocks 
was spewed yeah. out from the top. And because Nevis is like a cone, I guess it just all tumbled down, down, down hill, hill and yeah. everybody ended up with all a whole heap of stones in their gardens. Yeah. And um, <laughs> they put in good use of them, but they came out at the top yeah. of that, you know? And um, yeah. Well, that is very cool. <laughs> yeah, I think this, this looks like, but maybe it's not. No, it's not. I thought this was a passion fruit, but it's mm. not. I, th I thought it was. I'm trying to grow some passion fruits up, up at the top. So, so yeah. So that's this side, and we'll go, just go in the garden now. Yeah. And we'll do what that now? side. Ooh, look at these. Um, ooh, look at these. Can you reach these, Bert? The jamoon. Uh, this is another jamoon. There's some ripe ones. Right. You see that big bunch right there? Ooh, yes. Yes. I don't know how sweet they are, but your nana makes drinks from them or used to. These are the jamoon. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Kind of soury. They're mm. kind of soury. But they make a lovely drink. <laughs> and we have friends that... Um, they leave your mouth quite dry, don't they? <laughs> they do have a bit of fun. Somebody said that the other day, and I didn't remember that. <laughs> but then I realised that I've probably never eaten the fruit, really. I've been drinking my mum's drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I never experienced that. So... Up we go now to the other part on the other side. Yeah, look at these. Yeah, big stones at the bottom. Yeah. I don't know how we did it, really. It looks like a lot of hard work. Yeah, I'd love to have a go with me. this stone. Looks fun. Yeah. Fun stuff. Yeah. And then these are the giant ones right there. Yeah. <laughs> All the junk in Big it. boys. <laughs> it almost looks like concrete, doesn't it? Because yeah. it's like got pebbles in it. Yeah. And then... This must have been ash or something. Oh, you're right. I never thought of that. You're right, you know. You're right. Yeah. I never thought of that. <laughs> yeah, there's like different kind of rocks in there. Yeah. Maybe it was hooked onto something else before. Yeah. What do you think? You know, but it is huge. Huge. We've got, we had a very, very, very big one, much bigger than this, at the end of one of our roads, not too far from here, called Product yeah. Road. And it's been there and everybody called it Big Rock. That's yeah. what was its name. And anybody that lived in that area, the village, the um, the area, the, 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 the road, always, oh, there, there were the people who lived above Big Rock and there were the yeah. people who lived below Big Rock. You know, but it was always a feature. Yeah. And it's always part of your life. And then it started to get dangerous, so they had to remove it. It was <laughs> at a corner. Shame. And everybody was up in arms yeah. because now we realised that we didn't have any history of it. Nobody really took any pictures of it because it was yeah. just taken for granted. It was just a rock. And it'll be known as Big Rock forever. It'll be known and as Big Rock forever. Eventually people road. have no idea why. <laughs> no, and yeah. people won't know why it's called Big Rock. But you can see some... Oh, what's this down here? Oh, let's go and have a look at yeah. this. Let's have a look at this <laughs> one then. Oh, it's a good thing I came down yeah. here. Yeah. 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 Look at that one. Oh, I'm not going any further, it's too yeah. hot. <laughs> I wonder what that is. I wonder what that is. You see, now somebody would take that. Oh, see the rock, it goes right yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, so do you reckon... They're probably getting the rocks, my husband's probably getting the rocks from here. Yeah. You see, But you can see why people would use something like this to build a house. Yeah, exactly. You know, they'll grind it up and do... Well, you, know, you can almost use, use it as it is. It's, uh... Yeah, yeah, you can. You can actually, yeah. You're right. And did I, the neighbours put that wall in or is that a historic that, wall? No, no, that's been put in. Yeah. They're used as um dividers, you yeah. know. As boundaries and, and that kind of thing, you know? Very cool. Yeah. Yep. Well, thanks yep. for chatting to us about the walls and everything. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> hope I said all the right thing when my husband sees this he's going, No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I've said it all wrong. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. But thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. So uh, hope you enjoy that video. Um, I'd just like to say thank you to Auntie Vanessa for chatting to me and to Kedji as well, who I didn't film. We, did, we had a bit of a chat, but didn't get around to filming it. But uh, yeah, just like to say thanks to those guys. Um, yeah, I've really enjoyed my time here on the island, going around, like looking at walls, you know, perfect holiday activity, looking at the walls, going around, having good food, good cocktails. Another shout out to Kedji, who is an epic cocktail maker. Um, yeah, when, I, when I've been talking to Auntie Vanessa and Kedji, um, talking about the walls and the history there, uh, you can't really escape the fact that a lot of the, the stone clearance and walls being built here um, were, were done in the plantation area. And, you know, it's, uh, they would have been built by enslaved people. And it's interesting to talk to local people about that. It's a, it's a complicated issue. Um, somewhere like this that is a holiday destination with such a sad history but I thought it'd be important to, to recognize that fact uh, in this video but um, yeah personally speaking I've had a really nice time here uh, felt very welcomed and uh, I, I enjoyed doing the little gap and experiencing the island so I hope I get to come back and next time I'm hoping I'll get to meet some wallers here. I, I did hear last night that there are, there are a couple of old boys who do it, so it'd be amazing to talk to them guys and hear what they've got to say. So, yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'm going to go swimming again now. I'm going to sneeze. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Um, hi, guys. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Hey, up, Cappuccino. If you like Cappuccino and his family, please like and subscribe. <laughs>